So that's the um, the captive nuts for the gearbox mounts now now done and um, finished all, both sides. Um, that was a tricky job, um, very very hard to get the MIG welder inside those little um, little cutouts that I'd made above in the floor pan, just above this um, this cross mount by this chassis rail. Uh, what I did in the well the first the first one I tried, which was this one, um, the nut just um, it turned into a molten molten blob basically. Uh, so what I had to do with that in the end was I just um, I drilled. And up, drilled upwards through here, and, and tapped and helicoiled it. So it's, it's that's nice and strong now. Anyway, it's going nowhere. With the others, what I did, I adopted a different approach. Um, I had some six millimeter plate that I cut into square washers. Uh, which in each one, I drilled a hole, and then I, I, um, I basically, I um, welded a, a nut over the hole. So basically, you had a nut on a on a square washer. Dropped them in, um, got them in the right position bolted them in from underneath and then welded around each square washer and um, and that, that did the trick. Uh, should have thought of that to start with really but they're all in there now, um, they're going nowhere. Um, while I was under here I've done the um, the prop um, the prop bash bar hangers. Um, stroke of luck there, well what happened was I noticed that the um, when I drilled these, these or when I cut these off of the um, the old chassis rail the um, I, I drilled out the plug welds as well, and so I had holes in each one. And, and what I noticed when I lined, particularly when I lined this one up, it, it was in, in, and in exactly the right place, they lined up with the holes for the old um, for the old two wheel two wheel drive gearbox mount. So I used some um, low profile um, uh, high tensile bolts, and I bolted them up. I've also just tack welded them along the edges. Um, this one here was slightly out of line, so I had to drill it up and put a captive nut behind behind there, or a nut behind there, and and um, yeah, so they're they're in place. And, and like I say, so they're bolted and they're welded on, um, and yeah, I'm happy with that. They're not going to go anywhere. So that's that job done now. So next up is is the um, is the uh, the mount here that goes along here. There's in, on on a synchro. There's a um, there's a cross member that goes along here. And um, the basically the, the the lower tank straps bolt up onto it on either side. Um, it, it's quite a big old thing actually. And, and um, I did ask a question, and, and I was told basically that it, it's like a spacer between the back of the tank and the, and, and the bulkhead as well. It must double up, double up as something. Um, probably the easy thing to do is, is to show you. So this is what's left of the. Um, <laughs> The uh, the cross member off of the old one. I told you the pen was rusty, didn't I? Um, there's nothing left of that. Unfortunately, I can't. There's no point in me drilling that off and taking that off and um, and trying to use that. But um, I will try up to do something uh, along similar along similar lines. But as you can see, this this is um, no use to anyone. This one. What I've seen people do is um, in various build threads of looked at on the internet where they've done these conversions uh, different things varying from pieces of box section welded or bolted in or um, to the simplest one is, is probably the most elegant one as well would be was just a um, piece of L section in the right place basically um, a bit of right angled L section uh, just to hang the bottom the bottom straps off of uh, one either side I might do that it would certainly be the easiest um, that I've got a piece of um, box section somewhere that I might use if it's long enough. Um, it's not. It's not very long, but I think it might just fit this fit this task. Um, uh, and what I might do is just probably weld or bolt it along here, and then hang the um, the lower straps off of it. So uh, we'll see. I'll um, I'll dig the piece of metal out first, and and and, and come come back and show you what I've done afterwards. It's either that or just the um, a small L bracket either side. You can also see while I'm down here, well, one of the other things I've done is I've passed through the, um, there's the grommet there for the uh, for the engine wiring loom. Um, it's all down here at the moment. Uh, basically I've, um, what I've do is I've just painted the, um, the engine bay, sprayed over it with um, some chassis enamel, matte black chassis enamel once that's dry. Then I'll pin the, um, or I'll use P-clips and clip up the, um, the loom to the various places where it's got to go. 
So there's the engine bay. Um, like I say, I've just um, just sprayed it matte black, chassis enamel. And what I'll do is I'll um, once that's done, like I just said, I'll uh, I'll fit the um, the wiring loom into the various places where it's got to go. There's one plug comes out over there for the um, for the for the uh, for the engine, and another two plugs come out on the uh, right hand side, and uh, another couple of plugs, one for the um, that come along. So there, one for the math and the other, another one, longer one that goes to the um, the oxygen sensor on the exhaust. So that'll probably be my next job to get these wires out of the way and, and, and get them where they're supposed to be ending up. So next time I get the welder out, I'll um I'll just pop in here quickly and weld up these um these sections here that I um that I pulled open to um, weld in the captive nuts. Finish with them now. Uh, there's the um there's the ECU. Um, it's that's probably where I'll leave it there. I've um, just roughly fixed the board on there for the moment. Um, that was um, that was built for me by a guy called Andy at um, uh, Synchrosport.com. Um, done a really good job, fantastic job. Really pleased with it. Um, I, I mocked it up in the um, in the uh, original van when the engine was in there, just mainly so that I could um, I, I could get my head around where everything needed to go, where it needed to plug in, or worked fine. Yeah, really happy with it. Done a brilliant job. Um, I had to get another, I had to get another ECU and a new loom made up because the one that came with the van was in a shocking state and really wasn't something that um, I tried, but I just couldn't get it to work. It was, um, it, it was in a in a bit of a bad way. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Um, I think that's probably where it will go. Well, it is going to go there now because that's where I've drilled the hole and whatever else. So yeah, that's where it's going to live. So the next job to do is going to be the fuel tank. Um, yeah, I've shown you this before, I think, but um, yeah, it's got new uh, new sender unit, new pipe work, um, new rollover valves. Um, yeah, it's all ready to go in. Um, one of the things that I had had been thinking while I was underneath the van in a cutting grind in a welding mood was to move straight to the front, take off all of the suspension, and do all the modifications to the chassis rails. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is because I need the space the, to make more space in the garage I'm gonna um, fit the fuel tank and then I'm gonna fit the engine and the gearbox to just to get these all out of the way so that I can um, I can actually make more uh, more space while I'm at it I'll also be fitting the uh, rear suspension components as well so essentially what I'll do is I'll build half a synchro I'll do the, the rear end first and then I'll move on to the um, onto the front section and, and, and finish that off. All being well, I know Christmas is coming up, but um, uh, I should be able to, I hope to be at that stage in about, maybe in about a week or two, we'll see.